Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to log in into websites using Scrappy and we'll be using this example websites which we have used before called codes.toscrape.com to learn that. Now as you can see that there is a login button on the right hand side and clicking on it takes us to a form which contains the username field and the password field. Now why exactly do we need to learn how to log in using Scrappy? And this is because a lot of websites will restrict the content that you might want to scrap behind a login page. So to scrap that restricted data, it's always a good idea to learn how to log in into websites using this Python Scrappy. Now before we start coding, I just want you to notice a couple of very important things. The first thing is that currently our URL is codes.toscrape.com and after we click on this login button, it changes to codes.toscrape.com login. The second thing is that currently you can enter in any username and password and just click on this login button and it will log you in into this website because this is a testing website. Obviously when you are scrapping a particular project you would already be knowing the username and the password so it won't matter. Obviously to scrap a website you and you make sure that you are logging into that website you need to know the username and the password. And again I want you to notice how the URL changes from this login URL after we click on this login button. So after we click on this login button you can see that it again goes to the main page and now instead of login it shows as log out which means that we have finally logged in into the website. So let's actually click on login and then again go over here and now I want you to notice a very important thing and you will only be able to notice that by using Google Developer Chrome tool. So we are just going to right click and click on inspect and then we are going to go to this network tab and then we are just going to minimize it a little bit and now we are going to try and log in again. So I'm just going to put in my username as the my email and just in the password I'm just going to put in hello world and then I'm going to press the login button. So my login button is a little bit hidden over here but it's going to log in and now you can see that in the network section there is login quotes taught to scrape.com and then the three other unimportant stuff but the important is login and this quotes dot to scrape.com as you can see this has the 302 status which means it's being redirected from the login page to the main page that is quotes scrape.com now whenever you click on one of these networking tabs for example if I click on login which is the most important one right now if we click on login and we go to this headers tab you can see there's a lot of stuff over here and the stuff that we are actually interested in if you scroll down you can see that there is this form data which contains three values the first is CSRF token then the username and then the password which I put in while logging in. So always when you are trying to log in into websites, make sure that you right click, click on inspect, go to network and actually try to log in once. After you log in, try to find this login or uh, something like that and then click on this and then go to headers and try to find the form data. After going to the form data, these are the three values which we'll be using while coding in our scrappy Python project. What is this CSRF token? So the CSRF token is used in most of the websites for security purposes and mostly it always changing after we press on the login button. So right now the CSRF token is this but when we click on the login button again it's going to change again. So we need to get the value of the CSRF token from the login page by using CSS selectors and then using from request in Scrappy we can just send the username, password and CSRF token to login into website. We'll, we'll just get into what is form request a little bit later but let me just show you where is this CSRF token. Actually let me just log out and show you the whole process once more because I just want this step to get very clear because this is the most important step. So we'll just put in some random data of username and password and then we'll right click, click on inspect and we'll go to our network tab and then we are going to press on this login button that is over here. Let's press this and now you can see again we have these uh, these requests and if we click on the login one and we scroll down you can see that the CSRF token has changed along with the username and password. Now how do we get the CSRF token? So if we just uh, close this up and let's press logout and we go to the login page and then we can just right click and click on view page source to see all of the code that went into writing this website and we are just going to search for this element of CSRF and as you can see there is this form inside this form there is this input tag input element and inside that we have the name of CSRF token and this is the value that we want to scrap and now armed with all of this knowledge let's actually go back to our python code and start coding. 
So we have a very basic spider over here. We just are scrapping the main URL, the first page. We are not concerned about following links, etc. So this is a very basic spider. So what I want you to do is actually create a backup of this. So I'm just going to create a new file over here and create a backup for myself. I'm just going to call this file as backup, press enter and paste it over here. And now we are going to remove everything from over here. I know this sounds a little bit intimidating. Why are we removing everything? But trust me, it's going to be okay because we have already created the backup. Now, instead of the start URL, because we want to log in into the website first, we are just going to give it the URL of this login. So let's just copy this from here and paste this instead of the start URL currently. And we're going to paste this. And now the next step is to get the value of the token over here because this is going to change every time we click on this login page. So let's go back to our code and create a variable. Let's call it token. And then we are just going to use the CSS selectors that we have learned. And we are just going to write response.css and inside it, if you go back to our code, you can see that it has a form. And then inside that form, there is this input element. And if we get the value of it, the attribute of value, we can get the value that is inside this attribute. So this CSS selector might be different in different websites and in this one it's pretty easy. So don't worry about it. Just when you are scrapping a particular project, make sure you do the CSS selectors properly. And we have already discussed CSS selectors, so I'm not going to go into that. But anyways, the CSS selector for this one is we are just going to go into form and then inside form, we are going to go into input and then inside input, we need the attribute of value. So I'm just going to write ATDR and we need the attribute of the term of value. So I'm going to get that and I'm just going to extract it first. So whatever form input attribute value comes first, we are just going to extract that. So I'm just going to write extract first and let's actually print out this token to see whether our crawler is working or not. So I'm just going to go to our terminal. Let's make sure that it's open. Go to our code tutorial, write crappy crawl and then quotes, press enter. And this should print out our CSRF token if it's working. All right, so I forgot to put in the closing brackets over here. So that's why it's giving us an error. Let's try it again. Let's go down and crawl the quotes. And this time it should work properly. So now let's scroll up. And as you can see that the CSRF token has been printed. So now we need to import into our project something known as a form request. And how do we do that? We're just going to write from scrappy.http and from that HTTP, we are going to import the form request. And now inside this pass method, we are just going to remove this print token statement from here and we're just going to return the form request. And then we are just going to write from response and it will require a couple of parameters. The first parameter, as you can see, is the response, then is the form name and etc. or form data and stuff like that. So we are going to be using the form data parameter, but the first parameter is obviously going to be the response. And then we are going to write the form data equals to, and then it requires a dictionary. So we are going to open up a dictionary and then inside that, we are going to write the values that it needs. So it currently needs three values as you saw when we just right clicked over here and saw on the network tab that it requires three values. The first value is CSRF token. The second value is username and the third value is password. So I'm just going to write CSRF underscore token and then we are going to give it the value of token and this is our token variable from here. So I'm just going to put a comma and the second value it requires is username. So I'm just going to give it a random username right now. Obviously this needs to be the username and password that you have of the website that you want to scrap. And then the, the third parameter is a password and we're just going to put in the password as some gibberish because I don't know. <laughs> and then it requires a third parameter. So first parameter is response. The second parameter is form data. And then the last parameter is what do you want Scrappy to do after it has logged in into the website. So obviously we want to implement all of this code inside our spider after it has logged in into the website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to introduce a parameter known as callback, which we have already used in the previous videos. And I'm just going to put in the value of self start underscore scraping. 
So what we want it to do is that after logging in, we want it to call this function of start scraping. So we haven't created that function yet. So let's actually create that function. So I'm just going to call that function, obviously start scraping. So I'm just going to call that start scraping and it is going to require two parameters. The first is self and the second is the response. Otherwise we won't be able to scrap the response. And now all of this data from the backup, we can just copy and paste. So I'm just going to copy all of this stuff. That is all of this past stuff from over here. I'm just going to copy and paste this inside this start scraping method. And then it shows that there is an error which says unresolved error. So obviously we haven't copied this items line. So we need to also copy that at the starting. So let's copy it over here. And this is looking pretty good. All right. So let me just format this properly and uh, let's actually try it out and see if it works. So I'm going to open up my terminal again and then we are going to go down and we're going to run our crawler again. So let's see and we are going to know if whether it's logged in or not by a 302 redirect because if you remember whenever we typed in a username and password and right clicked over here and clicked it on inspect went to network tab and let me just press the login button again so that you guys can see as you can see there is on this login there is a 302 status which basically stands for redirect. So if there is a 302 redirect in our scrappy, then we will know for sure that our scrapper is working. And I just want to show you once more that there are the three values that we have used. The first is CSRF token, then the username and then the password. And you can see that inside our code, we have also used the same three values. So let's actually run this. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember if I ran this crawler or not. I think I actually ran it before. So let me just go up. And as you can see, there is this redirecting 302. And we know that our login is working because there is login URL also over here. One other way to find out whether our login functionality is working or not is we can import something known as open in browser. So we're just going to write from scrappy.utils.response. We are going to import something known as open in browser. And then in just when we start to scrap, so for example, inside our start scrapping method at the starting, we're going to use this open in browser method and we are going to give it the value of response. And now we can just scrap the value again and we can go to terminal and let's go down and this, let's just scrap it again and see what is the difference. So this is actually going to open up our web page inside our browser when it starts to scrap data. And you'll be able to see that on the right hand side, instead of login, the logout button is shown. And that means that our crawler is working. As you can see that this new page has opened up and on the right hand side, this login button is showed instead of the login button. And this means that our login functionality is working. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. From the next video, I think I'm going to start teaching you guys how to scrap Amazon as a complete project. So I'll see you over there.